G'day folks, Ashley here from Ground Speed Gaming and I want to show you a demonstration of the difference between vertical speed and flight level change in the, for the autopilot and I'll tell you what, um, currently we're just obviously tracking towards Asheville, North Carolina, we're somewhere in Kentucky airspace. The position itself today is not really relevant to this demonstration but that's just where we are. So we're currently at 2000 feet above mean sea level in a cruise at uh, just under 2300 RPM. And I'll tell you what, we'll change the altitude. We'll climb up to, make it eight. 8,000 feet, that'll be fine. And we'll use the vertical speed. So I'll go full throttle. Let's go vertical speed. We'll put the nose up. Watching the speed here to pick your speed, a rate of climb. Let's try 1,000 feet per minute, eh? And see how we go. So the nose automatically raises to a certain angle or a certain pitch to try and maintain that thousand feet per minute and we've got full throttle. So you see we're currently maintaining a thousand feet per minute. But the speed is slowly washing off so keep that in mind. We'll see where the speed starts to ease off or starts to steady. If it does, it looks like it's starting to slow down now and maintain a certain speed, like it's starting to slow down around 92 knots. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 90, 91 knots, okay. Seems pretty steady so far, that's good. That's good. The only problem with using vertical speed for climbing, which I only use vertical speed in most cases for descending, and I'll use flight level change for climbing. Uh, the reason I wanted to demonstrate vertical speed for a climb is that when you select a specific rate of climb, the autopilot will try and maintain it as best it can. It doesn't matter what the speed's doing, it's going to say, oh, we need to raise the nose because we've got to maintain that thousand feet per minute. I've already got full throttle, I can't give it any more thrust. So it's going to continue to try and raise the nose to try and maintain that thousand feet per minute. And fairly quickly you can get yourself into a dangerous situation. Because as I like to say, these autopilots are not very smart. They're just going to do what you program it to do. I've programmed it to do as best it can a thousand feet per minute. So it's even struggling to do that right now. As you can see the speed is slowly washing off to pass our best rate of climb which is 74 knots for this aircraft oh yeah is it going to maintain that oh hang on my rudder is dreadful that's not helping it's creating extra drag no nope, no nope, it's going to even drop below that but it's doing its best to try and maintain a thousand feet per minute so as you can see that can quickly, if you're not paying attention, that can quickly get into a situation where the aircraft or the autopilot will bring you into a stall configuration, an aerodynamic stall. As you can see, a little stall about here because there's actually no flaps extended right now. Uh, yep, see the flaps are fully up. So we won't stall there, we'll actually stall about there. We'll get a warning actually fairly soon. And sometimes you're not aware of it until the warning pops up, but even then you don't have a lot of time to react. And we're not even even close to where we want to go. So we're approaching 5,000 feet. We should hear the stall warning fairly soon. And if you're not aware of it, We go to flight level change. I change it to flight level change, select 74 knots. It's going to set there. And what rate of climb are we going to get? I'm not sure. We'll find out in just a sec. See, using the vertical speed, it almost brought the aircraft into a stall configuration if I didn't react. And if you're busy doing something else, doing some paperwork, chatting on the radio, uh, programming your frequencies or whatever, and not watching your speed, that vertical speed can get you into a lot of trouble if you're not careful when using it to climb. 
If you're descending, however, it's it's a lot easier. Okay, so the fly level change we've set to 74, and it's doing its best to try and maintain that. Oops, my rudder work in this thing is not very good. It'll help if I straighten it up. There we go. Yeah, that's it. So we're getting 700 feet a minute. That's still pretty good. But with flight level change, doesn't matter what altitude we climb to, it's going to maintain 74 knots, our best rate of climb. And it'll, over time, as we continue to climb where the, the air is not as, there's not as much pressure, it'll continue to lower the nose in order to maintain that 74 knots. So the rate of climb will descend, or will, will shrink, and, um, our rate of climb will decrease the further we climb. It'll eventually get to a point where it won't climb any higher. I've tested it in the sim before and it was it was a little over 17,000 feet or something, which is not realistic. Uh, going by memory, I think in this aircraft in real life, you probably get the best true airspeed around about six or 7,000 feet, so you wouldn't really want to climb any much higher than that anyway. What's with the pedals, man? Me and my pedals in this thing is very good pretty bad on the pedals in this in the sim here all right see safely maintaining 74 knots it's not going to get into a stall configuration but the rate of climb is going to decrease the further you climb and that's why I recommend flight level change for climbing and vertical speed for descending and to change the speed you want to climb for flight level change you just pick nose up which will reduce the numbers, as you can see. If I nose down, it will increase the numbers. And vertical speed, it's the same. You can increase or decrease the rate you want to climb. And we're safely going to make it up to 8,000 feet, passing 7,000, without stalling the aircraft. And that's why I use flight level change for climbing. Pretty straightforward. There's your thumbnail right there. I'll pick one of those frames. Pretty awesome. All right, well, hopefully you got something out of this video and learned something about flight level change versus vertical speed. So have fun out there and continue flying those sims. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.